Imagine you're on an island and someone decided to build a coal-fired power plant to make electricity. One question is, where to put it? You locate it here, at one end of the island, where the air pollution will settle on all the people who live there? Or do you locate it at the other end, where the wind blows the pollution onto next island, with fewer people? And what if you happen to live on next island? Does environmental law have anything to say about this? And while we're at it, what does environmental law have to say about the choice to burn coal in the first place? And where do the rights to water for the power plant come from? From farmers? From cities? And why do we care only about the human inhabitants? What about the island's plants and animals? Does the law give any rights to nature? Hi, my name is Don Hornstein. I'm a law professor here at Carolina. You can click on my bio to see more about what I do. But right now, I'd like to invite you to join me for this course, an introduction to environmental law and policy. And even though I'm standing in a courtroom, you do not need to be a lawyer or a law student to understand environmental law. In fact, sometimes I think there's no hope for environmental law unless millions of people, none of them lawyers, appreciate what this incredible body of law can do and how it connects to the really important things we all care about, to justice, to human liberty, to how economies work, to how politics works, and by that I mean how politics really works, and to how nature works. These are great topics. And there's nothing to say we can't have some fun in this class as well. We'll learn what makes for a solid legal argument and how to recognize weaknesses in counter arguments. We'll learn the particular ways judges and bureaucrats think about environmental law. And you'll learn how to do basic legal research online and be able to contribute what you learn to help your classmates analyze environmental issues where they live and get help on environmental issues close to you in return. Whether or not you think you live on next island, environmental law and policy is a class for everyone who lives on this island. 